problem number one po natin, and it states, what is the electric flux of a uniform electric field, 8,000 newtons per column, passing through a flat square, 10 meters squared? So let's start with citing our given values. So here I have my E, which is equal to 8,000 newtons per column. Also, I have my A, which is equal to 10 meters squared. Meron pa ba tayong given value sa problem? Wala na po. Proceed po tayo sa pagsulat. Kung ano pong variable ang kailangan po natin o hanapan po natin ng value. And that is electric flux na meron po siyang unit na newton times meter squared per column. Proceed po tayo sa solution po natin. So, the formula here is for the P equals T times A. So, our E here, it's 8,000 newtons per column times your area, which is 10 meters squared. So, our value for electric flux here, it's 80,000 newtons times meters squared per column. Or, if you want to express your answer into its scientific notation, we can have 8.00 times 10 raised to, let's just uh, count the number of jumps from our decimal point, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4, positive 4, unit again is newton, times meter squared per column. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final answer. Problem number two. An electric field of 500 newtons per column makes an angle of 30 degrees with a surface vector which has a magnitude of 0 0.500 meters squared. Find the electric flux that passes through the surface. Uh, given lang po tayo ng mga ganito values. So, una po is our electric field which is equal to 500 newtons per column. Then, our angle that is 30 degrees the area which is 0 0.500 meter squared. Ang hahanapan po natin ng value dito sa ating problem number 2 is the electric flux. And it has a unit na newton times meter squared per column. Sige po, solution po tayo. So it's P equals E times A cosine theta. Now, this time, we need to have our cosine theta in our equation simply because we are given now with an angle. Sige po. So, substitution lang po tayo dito. Yung E po natin is 500 newton per column times. Yung ating A, that's 0 0.500 meter squared times cosine, yung angle po natin that is 30 degrees. So, final answer for this one, it's 216.51 newtons times meter squared per column. For problem number three, our problem is the square surface measures 3.2 millimeters on each side. It is immersed in a uniform electric field with magnitude 1,800 newtons per column. The field lines make an angle of 35 degrees with a normal to the surface. Calculate the electric flux through the surface. So, meron po tayong sides ng ating square. At ito po yun siya, 3.2 millimeter. So, we have to express millimeter po to meter. So, yung 3.2 millimeter is equal to 0 0.0032 meter. 
Next, yung ating electric field, that is 1,800 newton per column. Next, para naman po sa ating angle, we have our 35 degrees. Find our electric flux na meron pong unit na newton times meter squared per column. Solution po tayo. Uh, v is equal to E times A cosine theta. Substitution lamang po tayo dito. Uh, e, that is 1,800 newtons per column times. Ang area po natin is not directly given by our problem, but the problem gives us the side of the square. Since our geometric shape is square, the formula po to solve the area of the square is A is equal to S squared. Sige po, substitution po tayo dito sa area natin na formula. So, yung ating S there, it's 0 0.0032 meter. Then, we have to square it out. 0 0.0032 squared, that is equal to 1.024 times 10 raised to power of negative 5 meter. So, ito po yung gagamitan po natin ngayon para masubstitute po natin yung variable A sa ating formula sa electric flux. So, it's 1.024 times 10 raised to negative 5 meters times our cosine angle is 35 degrees. Electric flux po natin dito is equal to 0 0.01509 Eight six one newton times meter squared per column. Or, if you want to express this one in its scientific notation, it becomes 1.51 times 10 raised to negative 2 newtons times meter squared per column. Ladies and gentlemen, either of these two is the correct answer. Problem number four, a thundercloud produces a vertical electric field of magnitude 28.0 kN per column at ground level. You hold a 22.0 cm by 28.0 cm sheet of paper below the cloud. What would the flux be if you tilt the sheet of paper by 30 degrees? So given po natin, we have uh, our electric field. 28.0 kilonewtons per column or it is also equal to 28.0 times 10 raised to positive 3 newtons per column. Next, for the area naman, given po tayo dyan na 22.0 centimeter by 28.0 centimeter. We have to express centimeter to meter. So this becomes 0 0.22 meter by 0 0.28 meter. Ano po yung formula ng area ng rectangle? It's length times width. Obviously, yung nasa problem po natin, those are the length and the width of the rectangle. Automatically, we have to perform lang po these na operation. So, 0 0.22 meter by 0 0.28 meter is 0 0.0616 meter squared. So, may angle po ba tayo? Meron and that's 30 degrees. Ang kailangan na po natin hanapan ng value, it's our steel, our electric flux. At meron po siyang unit na newton times meter squared per column. Solution po tayo. So, gamit lamang po ang formula na E times A cosine the angle. Substitution, our E that's 28.0 times 10 raised to positive 3 newtons per column times our area that is 0 0.0. 0.0616 
meters squared cosine our angle to 30 degrees. So this yields us to 1,493.720616 newtons times meters squared per column. Or you can also express this one in its scientific notation and that is equal to 1.49 times 10 raised to, let's just count the number of jumps from our decimal point, 1, 2, 3, raised to 3 newtons times meters squared per column. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final answer. Okay, one last po na problem for electric flux. We have to determine the electric flux through a rectangle of size 5 cm and 10 cm kept in the region of uniform electric field na 100 newtons per column if for letter A, the theta is 60 degrees and for letter B, the theta is 0 degrees. Let me first cite our given values. So let's have the area of our rectangle. So here, I have 5 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So let's express centimeters first to meter. So 5 centimeters, that's 0 0.05 meter by 10 centimeters that is 0 0.10 or 1 meter so perform that operation that equals 2 5 times 10 raised to negative 3 unit is meter squared yung electric field po natin that's 100 newtons per column and for our angle yung angle na una natin that's 60 degrees and yung pangalawang angle po natin, that's 0 degree. Ang variable na hahanapan po natin of value, it's the electric flux for both A and B. And it has unit newton times meter squared per column. So let's solve po muna dito sa ating A na ang ating angle is equal to 60 degrees. So it's P equals E times A cosine your angle. So, substitution ang E that is 100 newtons per column times our area is 5 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters squared. Then, cosine your angle is 60 degrees. This yields us to 0 0.25 newton times meters squared per column. Ito na po yung answer natin. condition letter B po natin, yung ating angle daw is equal to 0 degrees. So, you can have our formula Ea cosine angle. So, 100 newtons per column times our area 5 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters squared times cosine, our angle is 0. Cosine 0, this is equal automatically sa 1. So, 100 newtons per column times 5 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters squared equals 0 0.5 newtons times meters squared per column squared. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our answer for letter 